five of the best amateur choirs from around the UK have made it through to the televised final here at the Monastery in Manchester. They've each chosen two of their favourite gospel songs and will perform one song today and another next week, giving them two opportunities to show off the versatility of their choir. Listen singer and broadcaster Muiwa Olorewaju, director of Kingdom Choir and godmother of British gospel Karen Gibson, and a man who encourages everyone to sing, choir director Gareth Malone. It's time for Gospel Choir of the Year 2024. Sound of gospel music. The good news is no one goes home this week. They'll perform one song today and another next week. Faithworks Gospel Choir. From Nottingham, it's Sing It Bold Community Gospel Choir. We have Oxford Gospel Choir. All the way from Exeter, it's Soul of the City Gospel Choir. And finally, from London, it's Kudos Gospel Choir. I can't wait to hear them. Rewaju, Karen Gibson, and Gareth Malone. Oxford Gospel Choir. This year, they're marking their 20th anniversary, and we're delighted they wanted to celebrate it with us. In Oxford City Centre, and this is where we rehearse every Tuesday evening. We've been sung in a choir before. We just open our doors and welcome everybody. Oh. We all have our own unique styles, and the choir kind of get used to our different gestures with them. Day are on a screen. So I come into Oxford on a Tuesday night and I'm here surrounded by the other people and it's just wonderful. Lord, we just absolutely love this song. It just completely encompasses all the joy of singing gospel. As well. Next choir from London know all about the power of gospel. They're called Faith Works. This is St Jude's Centre, based in London, where we rehearse every Wednesday. We are Faith Works Gospel Choir. Welcome to South London. Be Christian. And the second thing is commitment. Laugh, but she's very, she's very firm and she brings out the gifts, what they have within them. The storm is passing over. It's a really simple but a powerful song. In life, we do have our ups and downs. When we're singing that song, it's just to say there's hope. I really pray that you be blessed and encouraged when we sing that song. The storm is passing over. The storm is 
Next up is a community choir from the East Midlands who hope to do exactly what their name suggests. Here's Sing It Bold. Oh, how wonderful it is. We're here at the New Testament Church of God in Nottingham. This is where we rehearse on a weekly basis. It's also the place that I worship. A non-audition choir, we are for the community, so we have a really diverse range of people that attend. I, I can thank him in some way. I can't believe it's happening. I'm wanting to pinch myself even. Holy by Richard Smallwood. And Holy is a really upbeat, lively song that really embodies this Pentecostal spirit, which is what I like to bring to our choir. You are super here. Next up is a group of singers from London who call themselves kudos because it means praise. We're at Clapham Baptist Church in the heart of Clapham. We rehearse here fortnightly on a Thursday. I started the choir in 2019. I contacted some singers, friends that I knew, and we started the gospel choir. To, to share Christ with others and for people to be encouraged, people to be uplifted. Opportunity to be able to sing and to be able to be a vessel and I can't ask for anything more, to be honest. To look at, you know, the different blessings that God has given us. When you're counting your blessings, don't just look at the material things. Look at the fact that God has kept you. In the midst of whatever you face, God has kept you.
Brilliant. Our final choir comes all the way from Devon. Here they are to tell us why they call themselves Soul of the City Gospel Choir. We're called Soul in the City Gospel Choir because we are the soul in the city of Exeter. Community Choir. It is auditioned. It is a non-faith or all faiths um, choir, so anyone's welcome. The choir's helped me in so many ways. I've got two young kids and it's pretty full on. Just being able to have that time each week where I, it's just for me. Isn't to sing in the sanctuary. Yes, Lord. It's a fantastic song with a lot of energy and it's a call to worship. Well, we've heard five uplifting performances from our choirs. Next week, they'll have a second opportunity to showcase their talents. But at this stage, let's hear who has impressed the judges so far. Moira, which choir will you be looking forward to hearing? Let me tell you, all the choirs have been a smuggler's board of amazing gospel music. But I have to say, I'm most looking forward to Soul of the City Gospel Choir. I want to see what they do next, because I could see something in there that's about to burst out. I'm looking forward to that. And Karen, which choir really moved you? The Kudos Gospel Choir. However, as brilliant as I think they are, I think there's much, much more. And I want them to look me in the eye and really draw me in to their praise and their worship. And Gareth, which choir gave the standout performance? Uh, so difficult to say. It, honestly, it's such a treat and an honour for me to sit here and listen to you all. But I particularly enjoyed the, the crisp, rhythmic groove of Oxford. Um, and also, I have a brightly coloured tie for next week, so maybe I'd uh, fit in. Thank you, judges. I hope you will join us next week when the big decision will be made and we'll find out who will be crowned Gospel Choir of the Year. Until then, my thanks to our judges and to the audiences here in Manchester and to you at home for watching. Goodbye.